Jobber field polls. What are you using within your business? Let's check out their features and let's discuss some of their drawbacks and see which one you should choose. Let's go. First of all, jumping into Jobber, scheduling and dispatching. So Jobber allows you to create schedules and dispatching jobs seamlessly. You can easily assign specific tasks to specific team members, which ensures that nothing gets overlooked and everybody takes responsibility for a particular task. The software also provides customizable invoicing options, and this also is supported uh, by online payments. Your customers can pay immediately, which really helps improve your business's cash flow and can reduce those late payments. With a fantastic CRM, Jobber also helps you manage client interactions and stores important customer information for your use. This enhances the communication and builds better relationships with your customers over time. Jobber's mobile app also enables field teams to access all the necessary information. This flexibility really means that your team can be updated on job statuses and you can really capture customer signatures in real time. It also has a built-in time tracking feature which helps you ensure that all the hours worked are documented accurately. The data can be used for invoicing, improving overall project efficiency and a whole lot more. Jobber also provides detailed reports on your business performance. You can analyze all your metrics such as revenue, profitability and job completion rates to make data-driven decisions instead of guessing in the dark. One or two of the uh, drawbacks, however, with Jobber is the cost. So Jobber can be slightly pricey compared to some of the other service management tools in its sector. Also, smaller businesses or startups might find it slightly challenging to fit that into their budget without compromising essential features. Essentially, not everything is offered with the free package. Also, you may find that um, it's quite a complex user interface. Um, it's got a lot of features, so if you are new to this type of software, it might be a bit of a steeper learning curve. Let us jump into Field Pulse now and see what they actually have to offer. So Field Pulse enables comprehensive job management, allowing you as a user to track job progress and manage workflows efficiently. This fosters accountability and helps ensure that deadlines are met. With integrated billing features, Field Pulse simplifies the invoicing process, allowing you to generate invoices on the go. This ensures prompt billing and overall improved cash flow. Field Pulse also offers built-in communication tools for interacting with clients, improving transparency and customer satisfaction. Users can send reminders or updates directly through the app. The platform also provides features for tracking tools and equipment used across jobs. This helps ensure that resources are managed effectively and reduce the risk of loss or theft. Field Pulse includes time tracking capabilities for employees, making it easy to manage labor costs. Accurate timekeeping enhances payroll management and can assist in project cost analysis. You can also see that you as a user can upload and store important documents related to specific jobs and individual clients. This feature keeps all essential information organized and easily accessible, aiding in compliance and customer service. One or two of the drawbacks, however, when dealing with Field Pulse is the limited third-party integrations. So Field Pulse may not actually support as many integrations with other essential tools as some of its competitors. This could hinder your need for seamless connectivity across various platforms. Also, it has been reported that occasionally there are some performance lags, particularly when handling large volumes of data. Of course, this may hinder efficiency during critical operational moments. Now, while we were exploring, I'm sure you've already made your choice as to which one is your preference. Go ahead and drop it in the comment section below, and we will see you next time.